Music is a form of communication that melts borders, giving language to that which cannot be spoken. Most musicians travel a lot, moving from one performance to the other. Inspiration never lies far from a musician, but it can hide itself behind a series of impressions of hotel rooms and concert halls, as the monotony of constant movement and the lack of possibilities to take time to acclimatize result in a blur. The Chamber Music Festival was born in 2006. It is a platform for new ideas and impulses, designed not only for a heightened experience for musicians and artists, but for their audiences as well. In 2009, the Gaia Chamber Music Festival has come to Switzerland for the first time. In the stunningly beautiful town of Thun, surrounded by Alps eternally capped in snow, and the whisper of water, it has found an ideal host. Musicians playing break the silence in century-old buildings and introduce classical music to venues from which this usually does not sound. The preparation phase culminated in five concerts over three days. Four were classical music concerts. One was a performance by the Bernese composer and clarinetist Don Lee, founder of an exceptional musical movement called Tonus Music. Seventeen internationally renowned, extraordinary musicians from all over the globe, among which seven musicians from Switzerland, descended upon Tune to live and work together for just over a week. Never before have these musicians come together in such a way. The arrangement of ensembles differs with nearly every piece, allowing for maximum opportunity for fresh interpretations and insights into any given work. The local public has the chance to listen to open rehearsals and to meet the artists. The musicians at Gaia have contributed to the world of arts in unusual and exciting ways, following non-traditional paths in their quest for innovative ways to bring music to the public. Some of them have turned things around completely, boldly stepping out on their own, free of restraints and the expectations of anyone other than themselves. We have succeeded in realizing a festival that is a sanctuary for the open exchange of inspirations and synergy. In case of a festival, um, especially when you have a clearly assigned artistic director, um, it's his personality, even if, the, even if he's surrounded with advisors and friends and everybody tell him what they think he should do and he listens to them, then it's his ability to merge all these opinions into one um, phenomena, which makes the festival what it is. Gwendolyn chose the people. It's not simply bringing her friends, but it's a combination of a deep going, sometimes very challenging uh, relationships. Uh, always friendship is part of it, but uh, um, it's, a, it's a combination. It's not just comfort, networking, but uh, a deep search for some meaningful merging of talents. The musicians were, I don't know, I really felt they were um, happy together and I think you could hear it. I was helping the whole week. I was doing phone calls, I was helping cooking, I was here for the artists if they needed anything. Here for everybody to organize and um, the atmosphere was really, really nice. I think it brought people really close together. I think it is the responsibility of artists and organizations today to reach out to their audience. Access to the arts should be available to everyone, and well-structured, exciting events, an enticement for today's audiences to taste. I've never been to such a gorgeous place. So, so the combination of mountains and lakes, and that you can, as opposite performing, you sit there on stage and through the windows you get to see this uh, wonderful view. And then, 
after rehearsing and getting to know the people, then the, the, the timing and the colors and, and, and everything is possible at that moment, at that very moment on stage to, to, to make, to create. In an ideal scenario, a musician has a chance to exhale and connect to their surroundings and the people in it, and the audience takes home with them a personalized performance, one that accompanies them for a long time.